I want to at least get something for you. Um, so in this case, again, let's kind of go through this one a little bit quicker. Convert the mixed number to an improper fraction, all right? So in doing that, I have 6 times 2, which is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13 over 6 plus 5 thirds. Does everybody follow how I went through that? Yes. Going through a little bit quicker, all right? Now, this is kind of getting to my point where, where students can make, mis not really make mistakes, but you make the problem more difficult on yourself if you, if you have to. So some students would say, all right, common denominator, 6 times 3. Jeez, oh, what's wrong with me? 6 times 3 is 18. Yes, that does work, right? But that's extra work. You don't have to do that. You don't have to say 13 over 6 plus 5 thirds and then multiply 6 over 6 and 3 over 3. I just want to show it to you because a lot of students go through this. Think about it. What is the LCD represents the least common denominator, which is 6? The smallest number that 6 and 3 divide into is 6. So therefore, if 6 is my LCD, this is already 6. So all I have to do is multiply this by. So therefore, I have 13 over 6 plus 10 over 6, which is just going to equal 23 over 6. Where in this case, you guys can see, I mean, now what you're doing is, so you have um, 13, 26, 39 over 18 plus 30 over 18. So if you guys were to add these up and then simplify, you'd still get the exact same answer. But you guys can see it's just bigger numbers and more opportunities to make mistakes, right? All right, um, two more examples, and then I am done, all right? 